So example two it says calculate the area of the region bounded by those two graphs. Again, this one is missing the x equals zero, x equals two, and all of that. That's because if you actually do go and graph those, they enclose something all on their own. They don't need any help like we had in the last one. So if you go and graph that and put them in, there you go. And so it encloses that uh, area all by itself. So it hits there and hits there. So this is what you're trying to find. Now, is there any guarantee that that point right there is nice and that point right there is nice? No? Are we hoping they are? Well, that'd be best if they could be. But there really is no guarantee. But if you have forgotten, there is actually a way of finding those exactly. Calculate. Yeah, how about number five, the intersection. So you just get close on the first curve. That looks pretty close. Be close on the other one, that looks pretty close. That looks like a good guess. Negative two comma, negative two is the point where they hit right there. And, or you could go to table and hope it's nice points. Either way it would work. And then you can go ahead and calculate the other one. One comma one. So it's basically pretty straightforward. It's negative two, negative two, and one comma one is where they are hitting each other. So if we're going to do that, we're going to integrate. Well, which of the two is on top? First one, which is two minus x squared is on top. Minus, and you can do it that way if you want. Minus the other one, which is just x. Of course, dx for everything, but from where to where? Again, you want the x value, so negative 2, 1. Uh, anything we can do before we try and type that in here? Yeah, well, we can do negative 2 to 1 and make it negative x squared minus x plus 2. Again, is that function I just wrote, negative x squared minus x plus 2, is that actually going to be this graph then if I go and do that? No, but it is a graph of something that would have the exact same area. Okay. So you go ahead and you use your calculator to figure that out. Either you go to that one uh, graphing way that we did or the other way I showed you. And what do you find out? 4.5 is correct, or 9 halves. Either way. Now... The one thing to possibly make this more complicated is in the next example, obviously the, as the functions get more complicated, the graphs get more complicated. But believe it or not, this will create a region. In fact, this creates two regions. Yes. Unfortunately, which function is on top changes in each region. So you're going to have to do two separate integrals on this one. So, and then you just add those together, exactly. So why don't you go ahead and graph that. I'll have to write them over here. So we got 3x to the third minus x squared minus 10x, and the other one's negative x squared plus 2x. Let's go graph those and see what we get. Good. That looks good. Are those right? I think so. So it creates two regions. Creates that blue one. And in that blue one, which function's on top? You have to kind of watch it as it's graphed, or you can, you can trace in there and it'll tell you which function it is. But which function's on top right now? X to the third or the X squared one? In the blue. 
X to the third is on top for the blue one. Unfortunately, when you go here, X to the third goes down like that. Here's your parabola for X squared. So which one's on top for the red one is unfortunately the X squared. So you do have to change them, but you can find those intersections. You can do all of that. And that will be your homework for tomorrow. But you have a good amount of time to do that.